Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, yesterday you had to compare and order decimal numbers. I graded the paper you got. The majority of you did very, very well on it. The ones that did not do well on it could benefit by lining up the place values and going through each one. Because I know the ones that were missed by those people that did not do well, or in fact, if you missed any of them, it's because you did not line up the decimal point. They're probably in the library getting computers. All right, so I'm going to rewrite this, and I'm going to line up each place value. My ones over my ones, my tenths over my tenths, my hundredths over my hundredths. And that makes it easy peasy, raw chicken squeezy. And by lining up the decimal points, it makes it much easier. And the ones you miss, anytime we do this kind of problem, the ones you miss, you would not have missed had you lined up the decimal points. I promise you that's how it would work. You would not have missed them if you lined up the decimal points and looked at the biggest place value first until you found your dis differences. Okay? We start with our biggest place value which is what, Riley? I'm, I'm sorry. I'm in the wrong class all of a sudden. Bryn? What's the biggest place value we have in any of these numbers? The place value. It's going to be the one furthest to the left. It's so the second one in front of the decimal point. Tens. Good. The tens place. Let's see. Chase greatest to least or least to greatest? Least to greatest. All right. We'll do least to greatest. And so, Chase, we're looking in the tens place. Is there any that are different. We have an eight, a two, and a zero. And really, if I wanted to make this, it would be another zero. I don't need to do that, but we could do that. All right, so since we're going least to greatest, what's the smallest one? Chase? Uh, no, it's not Chase. I'm sorry, I forgot it already, Carter. <laughs> um, least to greatest. Wait, then you want me to say the biggest one? No, I want to know the smallest one since we're going right. least to greatest. The smallest one would be 0 0.96. Or 0 and 96 hundredths. Now I'm done with that. Carter, what's the next smallest one? 9 and 34 hundredths. 9 and 34 hundredths. And the next one, Carter. 21 and, and 4 tenths. 21 and 4 tenths. And last but least, we have. 83 and 9 tenths. 83 and 9 tenths. Yes. Did you say last but least? Well, that's what they say last but least. It's just a saying, it's not my least number. Last but not least? Last but not least. All right. Yesterday you had 10 problems that were comparing and ordering decimals. Just 10. So it shouldn't have been a problem for you to take the time and line them up. But if I give 10 problems, then each one's worth 10 points. So if you don't take the time and line them up, and you miss one, 
you already got a 90. But if I gave you 20 problems, they're only worth five points each. So maybe if you're not going to take your time, I can start giving out 20 problems. Or if I gave out 50 problems, they're only worth two points each. Or we can keep it at two problems, or 10 problems, not two, 10 problems, 10 problems, and you'll show your work to make sure we get it done correctly. Okay? Show your work. It doesn't take much extra time. And I guarantee if you missed any, you wouldn't have missed them if you've shown your work. And like I said yesterday, any problem you miss, you're going to miss probably because you didn't take your time. You didn't read it correctly. You rushed. Whatever the case may be. Boom. Shaka, lock, peace out. God bless. So if you do something kind today, please subscribe. <laughs>